Hello everyone. It's an emotional day here at A Country Life. Emily was only 10 when we bought Pearl. She was our little girl. And now she's a grown woman and her and Jamie are starting their own family and it was time for Pearl to go to a new home. And we're all a little sad to see Pearl go. Did you Could I? <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> It's actually a gift for you. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh! I didn't open it! Well, I'm, sorry. Sorry. I'm gonna I'm look sorry. at no, it. Emily hasn't you know, opened it! I Let's let Emily open it first. <laughs> I didn't know that. Like, okay, you what? sit over there. Under there. Wait, where's the flatbreads? What is that? Sit over there. I thought it was something that Dad got you for like No! No, it's a little. Well, There's a little gift. What is it? I don't know. Gosh, this is so sweet. I was literally oh, thinking of getting a necklace that oh. had his name on it. Where'd you find that? Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness, I wanted to put this on. Oh, you're welcome. Wait, are you videoing? Okay, so Warren's making things happen here for these lights. So let's go take a look at what he's doing. I do have to show you guys. It's like, I don't know, 45 degrees, but I got my patio shoes on. I joked with Warren because he caught, when we saw these at the hardware store, he's like, hey, patio shoes. <laughs> but it's not warm enough. Patio shoes. It's windy again. <laughs> Get a level. Okay. And we gotta fill this with um, sand. I like it. You like it? That's don't touch it because it's still damp, but okay. it's black walnut. And once it starts to weather a little bit, it should be kind of pretty. It's pretty right now. So I'm thinking the lights will hook to that one and your hanging pipe from nickel hang to that one. Uh-huh. And we gotta go off the house and the house and the house. So awesome. We gotta start drilling some holes in the house. <laughs> Your favorite thing to do. Bring it. <laughs> and this milk can we found in the upstairs of our shed, we think. It was my mom's. Yeah. I don't know where she got it, but I know she used to decorate with it. She'd have plants around it. And whatnot, so. so yeah, it's right. kind of a neat, a neat uh, tribute item on our patio. So okay, what do you? I need a level. I have one in the house. All right, and I need a drill. And I a don't ladder. have one. Okay, I'll bring out the level. Well, that is so perfect. That's just what I was thinking. Well, you got my screwdriver. That's my screwdriver. <laughs> That's my screwdriver. I'll give you a screwdriver. <laughs> Put that on your video. <laughs> you might be surprised. <laughs> No, where do you want it? Here, do you want it? No, I'm serious. I have no idea where the strongest point is, so... Well, I guess what I'm asking is, because it's going to go in here, but do you want it on this side? No, I wouldn't. I would put it on the other side of the... And then do you want it out here or close to the gutter? Because it has to come down. So I'm thinking the cord will go on this side of the downspout and then yep. angle down. Yep. So you want it like right here? Probably right there. Okay. Yeah. We go this way first, remember? Go that way first? Yeah. Because okay. remember, it's going to go here. You tell me what you And want. then it's going to go to here. I think we're going to have to get another strand and then we'll tape them together. 
Yep. Okay. Let's just set that one down. And, and what do we got there? Tag, just this tag off here on the floor. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's taped together. So now if you want to go up on the ladder and then have mom tell you how she wants it. Yep. <laughs> Okay, and just like that, we're done. How about that, huh? I just need that red tool. What red tool? So oh. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. I love it. Good. I think it's pretty neat. Me too. Wait till tonight. Now we get Nick's flower that he got you on yep. the post there. That'll be beautiful. Yep, it's going to be perfect. I absolutely love it so much. This is just what I envisioned so that we could come out here. And we have some lights. Yeah, I love it. Every little crack. So it's Monday now. Um, I kind of started a little filming on Saturday. Not too much. It was kind of emotional. Um, and then I can't remember if I filmed anything on Mother's Day. Yes, I did film some on Mother's Day. So that was, <laughs> you guys saw my lights. Last night, I should have shown it to you what it looked like. It's so windy out here again, guys. But it was so pretty last night. So, so pretty. Um, and now here we are. I should not make a shadow. And here we are. Peter and Maria are having a great time today out Yay! here <laughs> working. Yeah, working on these, um, uh, what are we, stepping stones. Oh, look I'll show you what they are so you can see the front it's called mosaic stepping stone kit by milestones i think these can be purchased on amazon and there's so many different ones years ago i believe it was amber and sam made a couple Whoa, we have those that still look good? that looks perfect yep thank you they're not hard to do they come with everything actually they're pretty easy yeah you just need a pail and two cups or a little more than two cups of water and you stir and stir and stir pour it in and then let them smooth it out and put then put it in every little crack yeah and you then to, you have to smooth it and i don't yep that it. looks really really good and does, there's different ones this enough? one Ooh, has these it. little gems or not even gems just these clear plastic discs and then stickers and so you can stick your name write your name if you want or you, you could actually print photos if you want and glue those onto these. Yeah, but we're I don't know if we're gonna do that. We <laughs> we already have it poured, so she might just work with the pictures or the stickers that that already come with it. Peter yeah, has yeah. one that comes with glass pieces. Remember all those little shards you gotta be careful for, okay? Yeah. I don't want you to cut yourself. And so I'm not sure what he's making here. Are you making up your own design, honey, or are you making one that they show? I'm making a plain one. You're making your own. So he's making up his own design. Otherwise, it does come with, Mom, for people like me that just like to, kind of like to just copy. Look at it. It comes with, um, oh gosh. <laughs> what you can do, you can actually cut them out. Put right. Them on the, put them on here. Where do I set this? And just a like second. In the bucket. Form it. Right, right. So what you can do is... Like Peter said, cut those out and then put the glass pieces making, around making to make some kind of designs. They show lots of different things that you can do on the papers. You are making a person. Yep, you're doing like jumping jacks. So I don't remember. I didn't look to see how long these have to harden, but I would say at least probably four or five days. And yeah. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to go check these out. I'm sure that these are from Amazon. I've had them for years and years, but um, just never got around to these. Just press them in. Yep, you just press those in. I that found them. I know they were hiding in a closet. Yep. <laughs> Sam's feeling a little rough here today. Yep. I was filming another video before, uh, like a ground venison recipe video, and anyway, he came running in, and yeah, this was what I was greeted with, so I think he's feeling okay now, just sore, right? 
Yeah. Very, very sore. Teeth hurt and the nose hurts. Uh huh. So that is what's happening here on this Monday. There's Joe way over there. Joe, wave! Give us a good wave. <laughs> He's playing with the digger on the sandbox. That's his favorite thing. Hmm. That's an interesting look today. <laughs> so continuing on in this uh, week in the life, it is... What is today now? It's Wednesday, and I forgot to film yesterday, but we did a lot of stuff yesterday. <laughs> so we bought some lawn furniture. We're sitting on it right now. What's the temperature out here, Peter? I'll go check. You're gonna go check? Let's just turn the camera around. We'll just turn around and ask Dad. What is the temperature out here right now? Right now it's uh, around 38. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> just a little bit ago, it was still too cold to shut the the sprinklers off. Yeah, I gotta run down and shut them down. And so, but. And then the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> but we just had to get out here and hang out on the patio because, like we were saying, you know, there will be a point when it's gonna be too mosquito y to even wanna come and sit out here. So, anyway, we're just out here this morning. Yesterday, also, let's see if we can see that over there. Yesterday, Peter put up the bird feeder that Maria made and we've already had a Baltimore Oriole flying around so that's been exciting but other than that what else happened yesterday guys did anything else happen yesterday that we want to talk about oh, we Sam put the hot tub together. oh yeah so we got a new hot tub because our hot tub that we bought last year we we did keep it outside until we just possibly couldn't anymore to, honestly until it wouldn't like the the heater just wouldn't even keep the water warm and then we moved it to the basement and i don't know if it didn't like the move or what happened or if it was just the fact that we paid 300 bucks for it last year but anyway the pump gave up born troubleshooted for a couple weeks and then we pitched it <laughs> and so walmart had them again a little bit different than last year's model Last year was a Salyu Spa something else, and, and this is a Havana. So anyway, Mom, you know small. last year's was smaller? Yeah. I don't think no, so. It it's exactly the same size. So, okay, so there's the hot tub. So Sam got that set up yesterday. And violin lessons are back in, um, are happening again. That started last week. Sam's violin teacher called and said that they told her as long as she wore a mask, she could hold lessons again. So, um, because she holds them at a, at a private school. I checked on my peas yesterday and they're all, at least the ones that I planted first, the first week are all up just about maybe a half inch, three quarters of an inch. So, the, are kind of hard, you? the wheat, <clears throat> what was that Peter? The weeds are kind of hiding them. Oh yeah, the weeds, the weeds are already up of course, higher than the, than the peas. We're gonna check in with Maria. She was over there just waving to us. What's up there, girl? Uh, I'm thinking we'll be able to sit in the hot tub today once it warms up. It has to get up to at least 102. 104 is even better. Oh, and Joe's inside playing with my phone. Thank you. So here's my breakfast. I just have two eggs, and then I sauteed up a whole bunch of zucchini and onion. And now we are having a taste test. The other day, I think I mentioned this. I know I mentioned this in my grocery haul. Warren had said, um, oh, I just really have a taste for Eggo waffles. Well, I didn't know if he meant the Eggo brand <laughs> or if he just meant toaster waffles in general. So I picked up both of these, and they are going to do a taste test. I toasted them all up in the toaster oven. I've been using this quite a bit, and actually it takes up a lot of counter space. Oh my gosh. But um, I've been using it for a lot and liking it. So here's what they look like. We have this one on the left and egg one on the right. And Maria's going to taste. Egg -o 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 -o. I think this is the Aldi brand. What I want is not for you to tell me what brand you think it is. I just want you to figure out which one you like better. So what flavor, when you bite into them, can you tell a difference in flavor if you do yes. one or the other? Yes. And is one any better than the other one? This, the lighter one is better. Oh, every time my face is just cracking. 
your face hurts. Turn your face a little bit. You gonna show us? It's looking better. This is just not even, uh, let's see, 24, not even a, f like 36 hours later, I guess we are from the, the big crash. And it is getting better. I it think. is getting better, but you but look this rough. Whole tight, this, it's, my skin is very tight on this side. Yeah, we gotta moisturize that up. You like the I light one? I one bite of that and the lighter one is better. The light one is better? Maria, what, did you figure out what one you like better yet? Not yet. Okay, Warren's hey, in. Girl, Sprinklers are shut down. Yeah. <laughs> Wood burners loaded. Yep. And what do you think? Are you able to tell a difference in flavor or is one better than the other? Go grab your food. <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> Than the I think one. they're both excellent. Um, the darker one seems a little butterier, and I don't know if that's just because it's, you said one was home style. One is one. home style and one is buttermilk, because yeah, I couldn't get the exact mm -hmm. same oh, kind. The dark one seems sweeter. And I'll tell you, I the Eggo are butter. buttermilk and the Aldi... Mom. Ones are home style. If I had, Hi, they're Joe. both excellent. Okay. If I had to pick one, I would probably go with the darker one, but I like it's just a little bit different flavor. But they're both really good. Okay. Um, All right. The darker one seems a little sweeter. Sweeter. Which one is Eggo Rich? All right, you guys want to know which is which? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The I dark Maria knows. What? How does it go? All the egg. So the light colored ones are the Eggo brand. And the ones that have a little more brown to them, those are the Aldi brand. Well, I would pick the Aldi brand. Wow. I would pick, I pick the, the Eggo, I guess. Yeah, Eggo. Eggo, Eggo, Eggo. Eggo, Eggo. What about for you, Peter? So? Eggo. Eggo. Same. Lego my Eggo. <laughs> it's Thursday now. I didn't really know what I was going to be sharing for today. What? I didn't really know how the day was going to unfold. And then I realized that actually what's happening today is rhythm is going. So it's been a pretty emotional week. For me personally, it isn't so much that the horses are going. It's more how it just like, it's like the end of an era. <laughs> I'm sure moms that have gone before me have already experienced that. And you guys understand how that is. It's, you know, you just see changes in your family and you're like, oh my goodness, I never thought, you know, when you have all those little babies, you're like, I never thought it would get to this point. <laughs> But it does, and people, kids are growing up, and things change. So, okay, that's our Thursday for you.